Hi, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Split Croatia. Split is the second largest city in Croatia with almost 200,000 residents. It was definitely one of the highlights of our Adventures Croatia tour. It's located on the Croatian coast and it features a beautiful harbor filled with yachts and small cruise ships. However, once you walk around Split, you realize you're going back in time, as there's a heavy Italian influence, both Middle Ages Venetian and Ancient Roman. Split was actually founded as a Greek colony in the 2nd or 3rd century BC, but perhaps it's best known for being the site of Roman Emperor Diocletian's palace, which was built in 305 AD. Split later became a Venetian city during the Middle Ages. Before we visit the 1700-year-old Diocletian's palace, Let's start with the Venetian influence in People's Square, which is also known as Piazza Square. It became the city center of Split after another square we'll visit next, Emperor's Square, transformed from being the city center to being a religious center. We'll start with the Gothic 15th century Old City Hall, whose windows reflect its Venetian architectural influence. Today it's an exhibition center. Next door is Cairo Peach Palace, built in 1564, which belonged to the aristocratic Carapiche merchant family. In the corner is the Gothic Combi Palace of the old split patrician family of Combi. It was built in the first half of the 15th century and underwent modifications in the 19th century. Next is the famous Renaissance clock tower, which is unique because it features 24 Roman numerals instead of 12. The tower was actually built by the Romans and the clock was erected on its ruins. The restored sundial is completely accurate. The square also features some modern architecture. This is the Art Nouveau Nakit Palace built in 1902. Now before we visit Diocletian's palace, I'd like to thank Adventures Croatia for sponsoring this video and all of my Croatia videos as I travel around Croatia with them. Adventures Croatia is the leading tour operator specializing in travel to Croatia and surrounding countries. They cater to American tourists and are rated 5 stars on both TripAdvisor and Trustpilot. You can go to their website, adventurescroatia.com, for more information. There's a link to the website in the video description. If you mention my promo code, AndysAwesome10, when speaking with Adventures Croatia, you'll get 10% off any trip you book with them. From People's Square, it's a short walk through narrow streets to what is perhaps the highlight of Split, Diocletian's Palace. Diocletian was the emperor of ancient Rome from 284 to 305 AD. He was a military commander who stabilized the ancient Roman Empire but he was also known for persecuting Christians. We're going to visit several areas of Diocletian's palace. First, we visit Peristyle or Emperor's Square. This balcony is where Emperor Diocletian would speak to his subjects and where his subjects would bow down to him. Nearby is a 3,500 year old Egyptian Sphinx as the emperor had visited Egypt, which was then part of the Roman Empire. Due to its beauty and great acoustics, Peristyle became a perfect place to enjoy theater, opera performances, and works of ancient literature. From the square, you can enter St. Domnius Cathedral, which is where part of Diocletian's mausoleum was originally built. On the outside, you can see the 187-foot high Romanesque Gothic bell tower, which was built centuries after the original cathedral was built. The cathedral was named after St. Domnius, patron saint of Split, who was a 3rd century bishop of Salona. Salona was a large Roman city serving as capital of the province of Dalmatia. St. Domnius was martyred with seven other Christians in the persecutions of Emperor Diocletian, who was a native of Dalmatia. The cathedral features early 13th century carved wooden doors featuring scenes from the life of Christ, a 3rd century pulpit made from multicolored marble, an early 15th century altar of St. Domnius, which once kept his remains, an altar dedicated to the co-patron saint of Split, St. Anastasia, the 17th century Baroque High Altar, the new Baroque Altar of St. Domnius, and this area of the cathedral featuring 13th century choir stalls, and along the walls are canvases, including the largest one from 1695, which depicts the life of St. Domnius. Under the cathedral is the Crypt of St. Lucy. Lucy is the patron saint of the blind as she gouged her eyes out before being martyred under the purge of Diocletian. She was executed for being a Christian. 
The Baptistry of St. John was a 4th century temple of Jupiter before it was converted in the 6th century. The statue of Jupiter was replaced by a bronze statue of St. John the Baptist. In front is the baptismal font, which was made in the 13th century. There were also two sarcophagi that were used for burials of medieval archbishops. Above us are the quarters of those who lived in the palace. The holes were basically the toilets, and over the centuries, the waste became petrified, making this the best preserved area of the palace. This is the south wall, and we're standing where the kitchen once was. On the other side would have been the sea. We're now in the area of the private chambers of Diocletian and his family. This is the Northwest Tower, which is one of the three remaining original towers. This is the northern gate used by Diocletian. This 28-foot statue of 10th century Bishop Gregory of Nin is by Croatia's most famous 20th century sculptor, Ivan Mestrovic. People rub the foot of the statue for good luck. Well, we've seen Split in the daytime, but now let's experience the sights and sounds of Split at night.